In Sage Time Slips, we now offer the ability to connect an Affinipay LawPay account to Time Slips. LawPay is an electronic payment service that allows users to accept credit card payments online, send emails with links to pay online, and now with this new integration, you will be able to connect Time Slips and LawPay accounts, allowing you to view any and all LawPay transactions in Time Slips, as well as create accounts receivable payments from those transactions. Let's set up LawPay and take a look at this integration. Let's go to Setup LawPay Integration. Here, you will be presented with a message page. If you are not connected, click the Authorize LawPay button in the lower right hand corner to get started. You will now see a LawPay introduction screen. If you are not connected to the internet, you will need to make sure you have internet service in order to see this area. You can right click the login page and choose refresh after bringing your internet service back online. Click the authorize law pay button to allow Sage time slips to have access to your law pay transactions. It may take a minute, but you should see an Affinipay login credentials screen and the sign in button. Input your law pay credentials and click sign in. Once prompted, click Authorize to allow time slips to access to your LawPay account. You will need to check your email. In some cases, you may be asked to enter a special code. Once received, input your special code here. You should now be connected to LawPay. If at any time in the future you would like to disconnect time slips from LawPay, Simply come back into this dialog, choose the Deauthorize Law Pay button in the lower right hand corner. Under Settings, you have the option to choose which Law Pay account you would like to associate with time slips. Some people may have multiple Law Pay accounts. You can only link one Law Pay account to a time slips database at a time. However, once you choose your account, you can always come back into this area and change the account on the fly if you would like your time slip payments to be associated with that account. Let's click the close button. Now, let's work on setting up time slips to send emails at the time of billing that contains a link for your client to pay their invoice. Let's head over to Setup, Email Templates. Here, you can choose to create a new email template or add to an existing template you may already be using. For this video, we're going to create a new email template. Make sure you are on the Bills template list, and then click on the New button. Give your template a name, then type in a subject, then let's type in your body message. Here, in the body, you can now use two new LawPay tokens that insert a custom URL link to your LawPay account. You can choose to have a link that asks the user to pay just their invoice amount or a link to pay their total AR balance. You may choose to use both links so that a customer can choose to pay whichever one they want to. The two new tokens are called Law pay link with invoice amount and law pay link with balance amount. Let's insert them now. Now that we have our template set up, let's assign this template to a client so that we can send them a bill. 
let's go to names, client info, and choose a client. Make sure this client has an email address. Then navigate to the invoices page and mark the option to send bills via email. And now let's also choose your law pay template in the drop down box. Now that we have set up our law pay integration, establish an email template with the law pay payment URLs. Set up clients to send bills via email. Now it is time to go through a complete billing cycle and see what the email looks like and how the URL works. Once payment is received, we will show you how they appear in the system in time slips and how to convert them into accounts receivable payments. Let's generate a bill for our test client and approve it. You will notice the bill looks as it always does with no changes. Print it, approve it, then look for the email prompt and click OK. Let's check our email to see how it looks. You will notice that we have two links, since that is what we initially placed in our email template. We have given the customer an option to pay just the invoice amount or the entire balance. You do not have to include both. You can choose to include one or the other. Let's click on the Pay Invoice link. This is what your customer sees when they want to pay their invoice. When it appears, they will input their billing information and their credit card information. This should look just like it would if you sent a manual invoice to the customer via LawPay. The only difference is that there is now information coming from time slips in the reference field that contains identifiers to link this payment to your invoice, which will appear in your database once the payment has been submitted. If we take a look at your payments section in time slips now, we can see that there are no payments received from this customer yet. Now, let's process the payment as the customer on the website and click Submit Payment. Once the payment in LawPay has been submitted, let's go back to Time Slips and check the LawPay Transactions section in Time Slips for this new transaction. We now have our transaction, so let's create a Time Slips payment from this transaction. Click on Create Payment and an Accounts Receivable Payment Entry dialog appears with everything backfilled for you, including the Applies section. You can click Save, or if you would like to change the allocation of funds, then make those changes and click Save. Now that the payment has been created and saved, the transaction has now moved from the Available section to the Completed section. Let's talk about other areas of this Law Pay Payments dialog. Under the Available tab, you will see all payments in this Law Pay account, ones created from time slips email messages, as well as manual payments created and accepted online outside of time slips. Payments that do not have a client would be items not created from this time slips database. The Completed tab 
are all law pay transactions associated with completed time slips accounts receivable payments. If you undo a bill or delete a payment from the AR dialog, then associated transactions under completed will be moved back to the available tab automatically. The ignored tab is for any transactions you have specifically chose to ignore using the ignore button over here on the right side. You may have transactions in your law pay account appearing under available but have nothing to do with time slips. You can choose to ignore them in time slips. This will have no effect on the transactions in your law pay account on the website and will still be visible and untouched in your law pay account online so you can work with those transactions manually as you wish. If you have any questions regarding the setup and usage, please use the help function in the LawPay dialog or contact support for more information. LawPay account questions should be directed to LawPay support.